Welcome back to Gin Reviews from South Florida. Tonight, we're going to go to Kentucky, and we are going to be reviewing Seagram's Distiller's Reserve Gin. Right here, right now. Let's get into this. Gin Joe! Seagram's Distiller's Reserve is coming in at a hefty 47%. We're made in Kentucky, but also in Indiana. So the distilling part happens in Kentucky, and then it gets shipped to Indiana to get distributed. The base is grain, and the botanicals are angelica, cardamom, cassia, coriander, juniper, of course, and orange. Here's the bottle. Uh, it's a little bit different than their flagship, which just the color change, but the bumpy bottle is still the bumpy bottle, and that is a thing. Building off the Seagram's line, Seagram's Distillers Reserve is their higher proof upscale offering. Whereas previous bottles in the line were a bit higher proof, around 102, the current edition is slightly tamer at 47. All right, so here we have some here in this beautiful little glass. It reminds me of their flagship definitely on the nose. The juniper is there uh, and there's botanicals floating around the background. Kind of hard to pinpoint which one. There's also this cologne smell, <laughs> musk coming off of it. And that's what I'm hoping I don't taste. Salute. All right. Wow. It's that kicker in the pants right there. And not the good way. All right. The ethanol is definitely strong and it's just roaring at me and billowing. It's just, hmm. it's, it's not a neat drinking gin in, in any mind's eye. Okay. Let's, let's get that out of the way. We're not going to drink this neat ever again. Now, martinis on the other hand. So tonight I'm going to just make a classic martini. Uh, I have my olive brine in there already. And I have two nice chunks of ice. Stiller's Reserve, Seagram's Gin, Martini. Salute, eh? You know? For Martini fans out there, I do believe you would like this. It's so cold, crisp. The components are perfect. They got that beautiful Dolan Dry mixing nice with the gin. The ethanol is not quite as burning as the neat shot would be at all tamed it down and the olive brine kind of ties everything together it's just the perfect cocktail right here salute huh mm. wow i'd say go out and buy a bottle it's uh it's on the cheaper end of the uh, gin spectrum we're right around 25 28 dollars uh, yeah, it's worth a try. It really is, especially for you martini guys out there. So, from me to you, and to you to me, to everyone else who resides in the States in the middle from sea to shining sea, thank you so much for coming on back out with a cocktail with me, Jin Joe, every Tuesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Look out for a new review, because I'll be dropping in just like that. 
Until the next one, my dear friends and future subscribers, I have to say, you bastards. I'd like to thank you so much for coming on back, having another cocktail, another gin review, open another bottle with me, the Gin Joe, every Tuesday and Friday. As you know, I put out a no-nonsense type of gin review, one that I think people, the masses, need. So, every Tuesday and Friday at 5 p.m., come on in, let's drink some gin with me, the old Gin Joe. Subscribe.